name's Randy Manning and I'm out of Winchester, Virginia and I'm here with my 2018 W900 with a 22 foot Mac body on it at Super Eggs at Rafine, Virginia. We built one for Super Rigs last year for 2017, went to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and this year we wanted to do something bigger and badder, so we come up with a W900, um, stretched it out as long as we could for the Virginia spec because we're out of Virginia. You know, we put four pushers on it. Um, we had Mac custom build the body from the ground up. I worked with Mac every day to build the body, uh, 22 foot, fully polished. It's got 50 lights underneath in the floor of the bed. It's got 379 lights total all through the truck. Built it from a vision, you know, of just putting stuff together over the years of whatever I built and just want to put it in one big package this year and this is what we come up with. It's got a 605 Cummins in it. It's the biggest Cummins you can get from the factory. It's the Performance Series. It's got an 18 speed. It's 2150 torque in the transmission. It's got 46,000 rears in it, Henderson suspension. It's got the big series driveline in it, so double frame. It's 384 inch wheelbase, start to finish, and it's just massive. The truck is equipped with accessories from Valley Chrome, which is the bumper. It's a 20 inch Eagle bumper wraparound. Behind that is Roadworks' cab panels, breather lights. It's got a truck's visor on it. And it's got, like I said, it's got 379 truck lights on it from trucks. It's got a waterproof tarp on it. The waterproof tarp is by Arrow out of um, Kenton, Ohio. It's got a Quicksilver Hulk liner in it that we debuted at Max. It's a new liner that they come out with this year and it's super heavy, super cool. It's green in, in color and you know, and with everything going on with the truck being green, the interior, you know, with the Hulk coming to do the live stream, it just made awful good sense. And that's what everybody really considers the truck. That's the truck that the Hulk done. You know, that's the truck that the Hulk was at. You know, so that means a lot to us, you know, to have somebody at that criteria to come and see us and do that with the truck is just hands down one of a kind. Two bees upholstery out of Seattle interior, done the interior. Uh, hands down, done an awesome job with that because we wanted to put the Seattle interior package back in the Kenworth. So we shipped the interior out to them and then drove the truck back and forth from Ohio back to my shop, doing all the chrome and lights. And it was just all winter long beating the turnpike, you know, with snow and sleet. And it was just an ongoing, and then we debuted a truck in March at Louisville Truck Show. We come home with a couple trophies from there, uh, best in chrome and best in lights in our class. Um, and just, you know, it, it's just blown up from there. generally haul a lot of coal and frac sand. Our main main goal is we do a lot of stuff out of the frac sand, out of, Mar out of PA, 
and we go out to Ohio every week and then we haul coal out of West Virginia back into our home state um, for concrete plants. So, you know, the truck stays on the blacktop for the most part. Um, this truck in particular doesn't haul out of the quarry every day on a daily basis like some of the other trucks does. You know, basically this is just a sand and coal truck. It literally never leaves the blacktop. It's just one of them things, you know, that we, we have the option to do that with the truck. And, you know, in between shows, you know, it's hard to get the truck, you know, back and forth to shows. We've missed a couple here and there trying to get the truck ready. Um, just off and on, it's, it struggles to get the truck working and then bring it back in off the road and detail it because it takes two or three weeks to get it cleaned back up from running it. Virginia Specs, as far as Virginia, they, they make us do the stretched out trucks. In Virginia, we can go 84,000 in Virginia with this setup, and that entails 26 and a half ton. Um, and if we go out of state, we're allowed 80,000 on this setup, and every state recognizes 80,000, being that the setup is spaced out with the axle spacing for the bridge laws. What makes this truck a super rig is the size of the truck for one, and that goes back to the name of the truck, Beast of Burden, which means loaded extremely heavy, you know, like a freight car, you know, and, and it's just, it's big, it's bulky, it's, you know, it takes 40 acres to turn it around, you know, being that it's not a tractor trailer, it's just massive to move it around. My thoughts of being here with Super Rigs is, as I was a kid, my dad drove a truck, and you know, when he come in on the weekends, I mean, we've used Shell Rotilla's products all of our life. I remember on the weekends going to the parts store with dad, picking up filters, oil, grease, you know, whatever he needed to service the trucks throughout the weekend, you know, so he could go back out on Monday morning. You know, so, you know, for, for Shell, to put and super rigs to put this package together for all us to come out and support our industry like they have throughout the years has been phenomenal hands down with the great products that they brought to the table to keep our you know trucks on the road to keep you know the maintenance costs down the wear and tear um, so to be here with that expectation is just hands down you know we're thankful for Shelver Till. Our next specialty category award is for Best Chrome, truck number 25, Randy Manning. To make the Super Rig calendar would be a lifelong dream come true. I mean, you know, 25 years of trucking, and if you look around here, I mean, there is there is hands down some sharp looking rides. And to be nominated or to be even picked for that is is priceless. And God's looking down on us, so you know it would be extremely well to be picked for the calendar.